Let's talk about leadership capital. What is leadership capital? Well, it's the currency that you use to build influence with your people. And it works kind of like a bank account. You have a leadership bank account with every person on your team. And every interaction with them, you're either making deposits or withdrawals from that account. So what do those look like? Well, a deposit is going to be anything that gives the person a positive association with that interaction. And so when you show someone appreciation or recognition, when you recognize their hard work and you reward them for it, when you give someone a good performance review or a good raise or a promotion, you give them uh, learning and development opportunities, you, you provide the resources they need to do their job, when you remove the hurdles and, and challenges that get in their way of doing their job, when you provide clear expectations and communication, those are all positive interactions and those are deposits that you make in your leadership bank account. So what are what are withdrawals look like? Well, that's anytime they have a negative association with an interaction with you. And so if you uh, maybe you had a, a tough morning, you got in a fight with your spouse or your kids and you come to work and you're in a bad mood and you snap at someone, that's a withdrawal. If you uh, don't show someone recognition when they work hard and they feel like uh, you've overlooked what they do, that's a withdrawal. If someone feels like you mistreated them in some way, even if it wasn't intentional on your part, if they feel like that, that's a withdrawal. If you pass over someone for a promotion, maybe you're deciding between two people to promote and you choose the one that you think is the best option. Well, that other person that you didn't promote, you just made a withdrawal and it was unintentional. You weren't trying to do them any harm. You were doing what was best for the company. But to them, that's a negative association they're going to have with that. And that's a withdrawal from, that, from their leadership bank account they have with you. Now, it takes about 10 deposits to equal one withdrawal. And that varies on the size of the withdrawals and, and the deposits. If you make 10 small deposits in someone's account, then you can make one small withdrawal. If you make 10 large deposits, you can make a large withdrawal. What counts as a small or a large withdrawal? Well, that's going to vary depending on the person. It can depend on the person's personality. It can depend on what kind of employee they are. It can depend on the relationship you have with them. So it's it's not... It's not exact science. It's not you know clear cut. It's not simple math. It's it's more of an art. But the more you practice it, and the more intentional you are with it, the better you're going to be at it. So what does that mean? It means that you need to always be intentional about looking for opportunities to make deposits, to make those leadership capital deposits in your accounts that you have with each person on your team. Every time you're talking to someone, and every time you interact with them, you should be looking for ways to build them up to make them feel good about that interaction, about that experience, so that it becomes a deposit with them. Um, you, should always, you should make a habit of going out and looking for things people are doing well and then recognizing them for it. When you have that habit, then and you're constantly making those deposits, then when you need to make a withdrawal, you're gonna be able to without getting overdrawn because if just like a bank account, you can get overdrawn. And what happens when you get overdrawn with your leadership bank account? You lose influence with that person. So again, it's more of an art than a science, but it, leadership capital is a real thing. And if you pay attention to it, you will notice when those instances come up that you're making withdrawals or deposits. So be intentional and focused on making as many deposits as possible so that when you need to make a withdrawal, you're going to do it without becoming overdrawn.